Hi, it's Martin. Welcome to another Bread School video. Today I'm going to cover the topic of steaming. We'll talk through some notes and we'll do a little baking. So let's talk through this. What is steam? So steam is water vapor which is added at the beginning of baking. There are a lot of ways to do it. If you've been watching any of the videos, you've seen me adding water to a preheated cast iron pan. We're going to talk about that aspect of things in just a minute, but I just wanted to clarify what we're talking about here is water vapor which is introduced into the baking chamber at the inception of baking. And it's mostly done with crusty breads. So I just want to clarify that. We don't steam uh, breads which have egg wash generally. So, why do we steam? Uh, there are quite a few reasons why we steam and I would say that the most important of which is functional. There are functional reasons that we add steam. Baking with steam improves volume. Why? If we load a loaf in an oven which has no steam, the crust will immediately dry and set. And that impedes the ability of the loaf to expand because it's like putting a straitjacket on the loaf. The results of that are many, but um, they include, but sort of aren't limited to poor opening. The loaf will not have a nice internal structure. When we bake with steam, the exterior surface of the loaf remains moist and it allows the loaf to stretch and expand to its full potential. That results in a better interior aspect. The crumb structure is improved. After volume, other impacts include eating quality. Baking in a steamy environment results in a thinner, crisper crust. The crust stretches and stretches and thins and then eventually sets. It also, as I mentioned, leads to an improved interior structure. Other things which are positive outcomes from steam include visuals. We get better browning. When there's moisture on the outside of the loaf, it helps it to gelatinize. And then those sugars which are hydrated and the starches which are hydrated on the outside can brown more easily, so it looks prettier. It has a shine. The overall aspect is better. So this loaf may uh, have a blowout. If it dries on the outside, there still may be enough energy that it forces its way out in some, in some fashion. And so sometimes if, you're, if you've baked a loaf without steam and you've seen like a fissure or a blowout down here right next to it, it often happens right next to the baking surface, you'll have sort of like an explosion here or a rip. That's because the, moist, the uh, moisture didn't uh, sort of reach the exterior crust there and allow it to expand. So with the steam, you get a more even expansion and the aspect is more controlled. It's more beautiful. Cuts are better with steam. So when we bake with steam, uh, as you know, we often score breads, right? We often score our artisan breads. A loaf which is scored and then loaded into an environment which doesn't have steam will not open. The cuts will not open. In the steamy environment, they open well. So what I list down here also is, so without steam, loaf opening is limited. Blade angle is unimportant. If you don't have steam, it doesn't matter what your blade angle is. It doesn't matter what your ingredients are. It doesn't matter what the quality of fermentation was. If you bake without steam, the loaf, uh, the cuts will not open. It doesn't matter how well you score, it doesn't matter what blade angle is or anything. So, so steam versus no steam, very important for functional reasons and also for visual reasons. Okay, so let's talk about how we do this. So. We know that we want to bake with steam, right? We know we want to bake in a moist, steamy environment when we make our crusty artisan breads. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, 
it varies somewhat by oven type, and I've either got some good news or some bad news depending on what kind of oven you have. At home, I have a gas oven, and it does not hold steam. In a gas oven, the actual fire is inside the oven, and the oven has a chimney which releases effluent. So when we introduce steam to the bake chamber, where does that steam go? Well, it goes the same place as the effluent does, and it does so relatively quickly. Electric, on the other hand, is a more closed chamber. It does have some venting, but those of you who have electric ovens know that if you're roasting tomatoes or something which is giving off a lot of moisture, you don't put your face near the door when you open it. It's because a lot of steam comes out. So the electric oven holds moisture much better than the gas. So just to sort of reiterate, the electric oven, it's a closed chamber, <clears throat> steam doesn't leak out. Gas is an open chamber, steam leaks out. So how are we going to address that? Or what are we going to do in terms of how we bake our bread? So here are a couple thoughts. If you want to steam with an electric oven, I think a cast iron is good enough. A nice cast iron pan, 10 inches across, something like that, um, preheated while you preheat your baking stone or baking steel, whatever it is you're going to bake your bread on. So a preheated cast iron pan is usually enough. The other thing you can do is you can use a pan of lava rocks. If you go to your uh, like home supply store, you can buy a bag of lava rocks, rinse them, and then what I do is I go to the thrift store and get an old cake pan, like an old 9 by 13 cake pan. Rinse the rocks and then preheat those rocks the same way that you would preheat your cast iron pan. And then right before you bake, you pour water on them. When we get to, we're going to do some baking today, believe it or not. Uh, when we get there, I'll talk about safety a little bit, but for right now, I'm going to skip that. So, electric oven, you can use a cast iron pan to steam, or you can use a pan of lava rocks, and just make sure that you, uh, that your baking stone or baking steel, uh, which works very well in that system, is preheated, okay? Now, gas. Um, for a gas oven, and like I said, I have a gas oven at home, so most of the bread that I bake at home, which is crusty, I bake inside of a Dutch oven or covered baking sort of system. Um, when I've tried to add steam in that environment, it's so hard and it takes so much to make good bread that I get frustrated and I find myself much happy with the loaves that I bake inside of something. So where does the steam come from if I'm baking inside a, in a, in a covered system? Well, it comes from the loaf itself. During baking, loaves can lose from 10 to 15% of their total weight just from the baking process. So they self-steam in a way. I would call that system like self-steaming. So in my gas oven at home, I prefer to use a cloche, a Dutch oven, or any covered baking system. Now, what about baguettes? Well, I don't have like the baguette baker. I don't have any of those fancy pans. I just have my round Dutch ovens and obviously they don't do well for baguettes. If I want to make baguettes at home, I use this pan of lava rocks setup because that's what gives me the greatest quantity of steam. And then I just sort of roll with the punches and say, well, I'm, I'm not going to have great steam. So my baguettes may look a little bit matte. They won't have that nice gelatinized crust that we discussed. They're still gonna be delicious. People are going to love them, but uh, I get a little bit frustrated because I like them to be beautiful as well. So I tend not to make a lot of baguettes at home. I make a lot of sourdough loaves and that's okay. And the next oven that I get will probably be an electric bake chamber because it works better, honestly, at home. Okay, there are a couple other ways that you can steam, but I generally don't think they work that well, and let's just talk through some of those. Some people like a baking tray and you just put ice cubes on it. I used to do that some, but the problem is that the baking tray doesn't have much thermal mass. So when you add the ice cubes to it, you get some sizzle for a second, but then it kind of dissipates, and um, it just doesn't produce enough steam, so I don't, I don't think that's a viable way for really producing steam at home. If you've been doing it and it works, then uh, don't change anything on my behalf, but I think that you're going to get better steam with some of the other methods that I recommend. 
What about a spray bottle? When I uh, lived in New York City and was trying to figure out how to bake really good bread in my crappy small apartment, uh, I bought all kinds of sprayers trying to introduce as much water into the oven as possible. I'd spray the sidewalls and everything. Um, the problem with that system at home is that we have oven lights which are almost always glass or glass encased and one squirt of water on that light and it will blow and I've blown, I probably blew two or three of them before I realized that I shouldn't do that. Um, so I don't think that's a safe method uh, or necessarily a viable method for uh, doing it at home. What about just dumping a cup of water on the oven floor? I used to do that too. But what happens is that over time, that floor will buckle and it will eventually fail. It'll rust and then it will fail. So I don't think that that's a solid method either. So I'm gonna say no to baking tray, no to spray bottles, and no to just dumping water on the floor of your oven. I'm sorry. Okay, so we talked a fair amount about uh, why we steam and what the effects of steam are. So now let's just have a look at exactly what happens uh, during the baking process and what system I have set up. So in these ovens preheating, I have a baking stone and also a cast iron. These are electric ovens and I like them, um, I like them quite a bit. I think they bake quite well. Uh, I'm going to bake one set of baguettes with steam and I'm going to bake one without just so we can really clearly see the difference. Uh, be careful when you're steaming. Gloves are a good idea. It's also a good idea to protect the glass of your oven if you're new to the game. Uh, if you splatter water on there, it can break, so be cautious. Alright, so let's load. Mm -hmm. two very different loaves. We've got one that was baked without steam and one that was baked with steam. So in my left hand on your right side is the no steam version of the exact same baguette. You can see how the color is lighter, uh, doesn't have an ear, the crust is a little thick, uh, it doesn't have the same crispness to it. Still going to taste good, still going to be delicious. And the one with steam, a little bit of shine, it browns really well. I like this amount of color. It feels crisper to me and it feels maybe even a little bit lighter for the size. Maybe, maybe I'm making that up. Um, but a remarkably different result based on steam. So I encourage you, if you're not steaming, to begin steaming or to look at your baking systems and see how you might improve uh, the bread that you make. And in the meantime, enjoy the mistakes Cheers to you and yours, and I'm gonna go cut a baguette and have some. 